to the people that left on their wedding day. Why? What went wrong? I was at the wedding reception where the bride suddenly disappeared. After half an hour or so groom and his friends started looking for her and found her having sex with one of the guests in the rooms above the reception. Groom left angrily, bride and her family couldn't bear the embarrassment and left as well. Groom's dad invited the rest of the guests to stay, since all the food and drinks were paid for. He was actually not upset about the whole thing, because he didn't like the bride at all. D. Band and some of us less affected by incident stayed behind to chat and drink at the bar. My date was friend of groom's sister's friend. I didn't know the groom that well. They got the marriage annulled in the week after. He remarried some years later to a nicer girl. What happened to the cheating bride I don't know. I never saw her since. Not me but. After months of dating this guy wanted to break up. But the girl's parents threatened him if he didn't marry their daughter. The day of the wedding at the town hall, there was this couple scheduled to be married before them. It was the guy and his other girlfriend. Not me, a guy I knew from college. Girl is getting ready for her wedding. We are talking getting her makeup done, hair, etc. Day of the ceremony, and while she's doing that she's telling the bridesmaid with her about the tens of thousands of dollars in debt she had that she hadn't told her future husband about or about how she wasn't really in the profession that he thought she was in so she didn't have the money she said she did she was smart enough to con this guy for two years until the wedding day but wasn't smart enough to realize the person she was talking to was the groom's sister so she went right to him and told him everything he was an okay guy, a little full of himself, but he definitely loved her, like, took a trip with her to a special place, to get their rings forged out of some special material, to symbolize etc etc levels of love here. He called off the wedding. He's doing fine now, but damn what a terrible thing to do to someone, to lie to them for years about who you are, so they could help saddle your debt. I'm sure she loved him back in her own way, just, you know, in that sort of, obsessive, I deserve having someone like you to come save me, crazy sort of way. We were waiting at the altar for 4 hours, a guest died, someone peed themselves, and I saw him kissing a bridesmaid. Also this was the Sims 3. She was blowing the best man in the bathroom. Discovered by my grandmother, who had a stroke, and went under the doctor's care for a month. An old friend of mine did that. He explained it later that during their relationship of 3 years he really felt comfortable with this woman being his wife. Then he proposed, and she turned into Britazilla. Not just that, but suddenly she felt like everything in life was done, and she only had one more task, get a baby or two. And she acted the part. Everything was about the wedding. Her dress was designed to be ready for her to be pregnant. They tried. They failed. She wailed. Everything was his fault and her entire world was about the wedding. They fought a lot, and she acted as if nothing was the matter in front of anybody else. He stopped loving her just a few weeks after proposing. The wedding day came around, and he looked at himself in the mirror, wearing a nice suit, looking the part, but his eyes were dead. He said he had the laughing lines around his eyes, but they weren't nearly as visible as they had been in previous years. He could not remember the last time he was happy with his fiancée. So he walked out. He then got married to a longtime friend of his, a girl he had known for the better part of the past 10 years. They decided to not get married and not have children. They have a domestic partnership, or whatever the tax construction is for partners that don't want to get married, and the only reason they only travel for 4 months a year is that if they stay away for longer periods of time they would be unregistered at the city where they live. He's nearing his 40s with a hot and sweet girlfriend who's only 31. They both have strong careers going. They are both outgoing, well traveled, and each of them speak 4 languages fluently. He keeps calling it a bullet dodged. And it was one he honestly did not see coming. The Britazilla also ended up happy. She got married to a guy who already had kids, and she got pregnant at age 33. They now have 4 kids, 2 of her own, 2 of his, and seem to be incredibly happy too. Basically, a happy ending. Marriage is not for everybody, neither are kids. This is like the opposite of the question, but my dad was the pastor at a wedding, where the groom was found banging a bridesmaid during the reception, who was also his first cousin. The whole thing erupted into a big ordeal and the bride left, but they did not annul the marriage. 
she eventually had a mental breakdown several years later, and was institutionalized, after getting picked up on the street completely naked claiming she was Jesus. She lost her kids and they were adopted by her sister who were friends of ours. As someone who is getting married in less than 24 hours, this is an interesting thread to read, say the least. Not me, but a colleague, D, a bisexual man, realized on the day that he, quote likes too much to marry a woman. So he bailed, and now he's with a man who frankly suits him a lot better. As a little kid I remember my friend's mom telling my mom, that she encouraged her recently divorced friend, to leave the guy at the altar. I think he was abusive. Not me, but one of my groomsmen at my wedding. His guest was a girl he'd been dating for a short while, three ish months, I think. At the reception, she asked him, if he was serious about their relationship. He was honest, and told her that no, it wasn't serious to him. She got up and walked out. Him, I guess she just dumped me? That was 8 years ago. He's still single. He's a super nice guy, and I hope he finds love someday. She just left with this karate teacher, I knew I should not have invited him to the weeding. They also made a movie about me after that, it was horrible. My mom's cousin gets knocked up, and they decide to get married. My family attends the church ceremony, everything is fine and dindy. A storm hits, and we can't go to the reception, so my parents visit the next day, to hand them the present, and discover the wedding is off. Why? The groom found out the baby wasn't his. It wasn't on the wedding day, but my wife was engaged before we met, and she found out the guy was cheating on her less than two weeks before the wedding. I guess it won't count, but it might a bit. It's more a subversion of the topic, but my ex decided to cheat on me, because I won't marry her, mostly cause I wasn't ready yet, even if I did want to eventually. Friend of mine. We told her he was shady, we knew he was cheating. She even thought he had been, but he always talked his way out of trouble. She went through with marrying him, even though she herself was concerned, and those of us who tried to be honest with her, and help her through her potentially abusive relationship didn't attend the wedding. She changed her name just long enough for the honeymoon, and it was over before they got back. Less than a year later he's had a baby with some other girl. Not my wedding but a friend's. Everything was pretty peachy at first. Everything was fine. I was a guest, and not a bridesmaid or anything. I have on my plain old dress. The wedding starts off fine. Everything is normal, until the bride comes out. She looks happy. She looks fine. Her hair is up, but then the bride's mother comes charging out of the audience. Whore, 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 whore over and over again. We restrained her once and the bride, she just kept pushing on. If I had to say one thing about her. She was not a quitter. The mother is placed back in the audience to watch. She had a front row seat which was a mistake. We hear a crash, and see that the mother chucked a wine bottle. At her daughter. She missed, but the damage was done. The bridge was upset and just couldn't take it anymore. She walked off with a groom. I don't remember exchanging any vows, because once I started drinking everything becomes a blur. When I contacted her after. She told me, that her mother hated, that her daughter was leaving, and how she is getting her own house, her own family, and everything. Not because she'll miss her daughter, but instead because she is wondering who will take of her now, who will pay for her weekly drinking binges, etc. The mother was more concerned, that she would have some responsibility in her life. A few years later, her mother was put into her elderly home, because she started hoarding and threatening people who came too close to her house. Her daughter rarely visits, because her mother was very emotionally abusive to her. I had a small family only wedding, and invited my sister, more like she invited herself, but whatever I didn't want to start things, so I sent out the invitations making sure to include, that she was only to bring herself and her so. There was an option of one or two people and both names had to be written down I get it back with two names, her and the so. Well she also invited along her sister, my sister and I share only a dad, while she shares only a mom with her other sister making us not related in any way shape or form. Well this showed up in a white dress, more white than mine. And not only did I have an uninvited person show up in a white dress to my wedding, but she also took a million pictures for Facebook and Instagram, and didn't once include me, or that it was my wedding she crashed. 
Just pictures of her in her white dress. My wedding was great except for them. There was unnecessary drama at my wedding, and I don't think I'll get over it.